Hi, I'm Eric Failer. Have you ever seen two agents argue over where to go out for dinner? Or for that matter, have you ever seen a computer mount a better argument than abort, retry, fail? Well, maybe it's this. Clearly, computers aren't very advanced in the ways of persuasion, but I'm going to change that. Researchers Elizabeth Black and Katie Atkinson presented a paper at the 10th annual AAMAS conference titled Choosing Persuasive Arguments for Action, in which they describe a framework for one-on-one -on -one argumentation. In their system, agents propose the action most likely to achieve their goal. The agents then craft arguments against their partner's proposal. The system will enable a pair of agents to come to agree on a joint action that advances each of their individual goals. The paper describing the system is just that, a description. So far in my research, I have not found any experiments testing out the system. I will implement their system and evaluate it for performance and effectiveness. The original paper describes the interaction between only two agents, but anticipates extending the system to involve three or more. I will find out whether this extension is indeed possible, and whether a larger group of agents can come to any kind of consensus. I believe that endowing agents with the tools of argumentation will be broadly useful. Persuasive agents who can explain the merits of their suggestions and bring up for consideration disadvantages in others will be able to achieve more useful and favorable interactions with humans. The success of this research will therefore have wider application than just the interactions between agents. I can envision autonomous agents joining a group discussion with multiple people, providing meaningful input, and acting in accord with the group's best interest. Because of my experience on previous assignments, I'd like to avoid a situation where I spend the bulk of my time tweaking and debugging the virtual world which my agents will inhabit. By using an existing platform, I can focus more energy on the task at hand. To this end, I propose using the vi open source video game Ready Clips. It's an online competitive shooter, and it's entertaining because it has fast paced action. This level of excitement is kept up by autonomous players called bots who join the game when there are not enough people online to keep things interesting. Presently, the bot's strategy is to run around and shoot everything in sight. And they want to achieve the highest score, so that's their overall goal. But each bot is not <clears throat> is created with a different skill level, so some of the bots are better at achieving the goal than others. I will give the bots the ability to overcome this disparity of skill by allowing them to form ad hoc alliances where they agree not to attack each other. I expect that an alliance will be disadvantageous to the winning bot. After all, he's doing pretty good on his own. But for the bots at the bottom of the pile, the possibility of combining their firepower will allow them to survive longer and may be able to defeat opponents who are too strong to take on alone. But when the weaker bots begin dominating the game, will the alliance hold together or will the preference for winning the game drive them apart? So in conclusion, smart robots with lasers, what can possibly go wrong?